and welcome back to Alice Talks Football. And I was asked the question, do Manchester United now have the best midfield in the Premier League since the arrival of Bruno Fernandes? Because obviously we've got Paul Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, Fred, McTominay and Matic all in the midfield to choose from. And obviously we know that Paul Pogba at his best can be the best midfielder in the league. We've seen what Bruno Fernandes can do. Fred's been amazing this season. But Tom and I has had some amazing games this season and could develop into a great player. And Matic, in fairness, has stepped up this season. So do Manchester United have the best midfield in the league? And I think on their day, and if they're played together right, you know, when they're playing their best, we probably do. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why Manchester United potentially have the best midfield in the league with Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba. I'm going to be talking about Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba, their individual stats, what they bring to the team, how they can play together, and how they will assist the likes of Rashford, Martial, James and Greenwood. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But before I get into this video, it would be awesome if you could smash that like button, subscribe down below if we're new, so you don't miss daily Manchester United related content from me, and share this video with your friends. So I've done a few videos on Paul Pogba and Bruno Hannes and they've been quite popular. I did a video about how they'd line up and stuff. So I'm not going to get in too much about how they'd line up together. I'm just going to sort of talk about the players they are and why they could form the best midfield in the league. If you haven't seen how they can line up together video, go check that out after this video. Now I'm going to start with Bruno Fernandes, the new arrival to Manchester United. So this season in 37 games, Bruno Fernandes has 18 goals and 18 assists. If you divide those games into minutes, it's actually a goal contribution every 87 minutes across all competitions. This is Liga Nos, Premier League, Europa League, all competitions, which is pretty decent. In the Premier League, in five games, he has three assists and two goals. So again, a very heavy goal contribution right there. Basically, a goal contribution every game. Bruno Fernandes has only played a month of Premier League football, but in his first month at Manchester United, he won the Player of the Month award. He completed the most shots out of any Manchester United player, the most assists out of any Manchester United player, and created the most chances out of any Manchester United player. In his first month in the Premier League, no player managed more passes into the box from midfield than Bruno Fernandes. He had 44, Kevin De Bruyne had 41. In our five Premier League games that Bruno Fernandes played, we were unbeaten, considering that we played Man City, Wolves and Everton, which were on a good run of form. Watford that were doing well, you know, they beat Liverpool 3-0 and Norwich. 11 points out of 15 is not bad. Before the break, we're on 11 game on beaten streak. Bruno Fernandes featured in, I think, nine of those games. So, you know, we've been doing really well with Bruno Fernandes in the team. We have not lost since he's joined. We're on a great run of form. And when Bruno Fernandes joined, there was a new Anthony Martial. He looked reformed, he was getting service, he was scoring goals. So we saw what Bruno did to Martial. So imagine if Bruno links up with Pogba and Rashford as well. The improvement you'll see in Pogba and Rashford. Because we know with Pogba, when he's playing with good players around him and the team's doing well, Pogba normally plays really well. It's when the team's not doing too, too well that Pogba becomes inconsistent himself. You know, Rashford and Martial have had Lingard and Pereira to give them service all season and they've been great. They have 35 goals between the two of them, considering they both had long spells out with injury and Pereira and Lingard for service. Now they've got Bruno in, that 35 goals could be like 45. You know, they've got Pogba back with them. This, these goals could go up massively. I mean, the, the difference to Martial when Bruno came in was so good that I want to see the difference that Bruno makes to Paul Pogba, the difference that Bruno makes to Rashford. And he, Bruno has not played with Pogba or Rashford yet. Now let's talk about Paul Pogba. Yeah, he's inconsistent. But on his day... Paul Pogba can be the best midfielder in the world. Now, for me, Kevin De Bruyne is the best midfielder in the world. But on his day, Paul Pogba can be it. And we've seen when Oli first came in and Manchester United were playing well, how good Paul Pogba was. Last season was considered an off-season, an inconsistent season for Paul Pogba. He had some great games and some poor games, but he still managed 13 goals and 9 assists at 22 goal contributions from midfield in what some would say was a poor season for Pogba. But we saw glimpses of prime Paul Pogba when Oli first came in and what he can do. So if we can get that Pogba back playing with Bruno Fernandes, we will easily have the best midfield in the league. Not to mention an, an informed Fred with them, or even Tom Ali, who I think when he played against Barcelona last year, he was the best player on the pitch. He's had some proper solid games before his injury. He was the player of the month two months in a row. A young Tom Ali that can develop into a pivot behind him. We generally do have the best midfield in the league if we play right. The thing about Manchester United's attack is they're so deadly when they get in behind the defence when we counter-attack. And with the passing ability of Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes, we can do long balls into 
Rashford, Martial, James and even Greenman and get them in behind. We saw against Manchester City when we counter-attacked and we got in behind. We were so deadly. We have players that can do those long balls and get them in behind. I mean, we can counter-attack, we can be deadly more. And when teams sit back, we have two creative players that can break them down because we know this season we struggled most against teams that sat back deep against us. So now we have players that can help break them down as well. And with Bruno, when Bruno came, we were doing better against smaller teams because we actually had a player that could break them down. We don't need to rely on Lingard and Pereira who aren't really the most creative players. We have Pogba, we have Bruno feeding our attack and we know when our attack gets service, they deliver. There's a lot of ways that we could line up with Pogba and Bruno in the midfield and the most likely is the 4-2-3-1. I've talked about this in a lot of videos so I won't waffle but Bruno can, Pogba left CDM, Tom and I right CDM, you could even put Fred in there or Matic and you know Pogba played mostly as a left CDM under Oli, he can be this deep line playmaker role, you know he's quite deep, he's invincible deep but he plays up to Rashford and Martial, Bruno in the cam role, we've seen what he's done, I think they will link up together while well. you've got McTominay because he's in a dual, a dual pivot CDM, Pogba can push forward a bit, McTominay can almost cover as a lone CDM, meaning Pogba can play into Rashford and Martial in behind, Pogba will probably be left side of the midfield playing up with Rashford, you know, Pogba and Bruno can be playing up together. You know, they're both quite good at their long shots. They're both good at long balls, creating chances. Meaning we can actually play a much more creative, interesting, nice to watch style of football. And even if we played the 4-3-3, which is what Oli played when he first joined Manchester United with Pogba and Bruno as eight, we can play free-flowing attacking football. Yes, we might concede more. I'd be, you know, I'd be a bit more vulnerable in defence, but we'll be attacking more, creating more and more chances, which is just beautiful to see, and scoring more goals, kind of like what Manchester City do. We can even play four in the midfield. We could have a diamond of Bruno, Pogba, Fred, Tom and I all linking up, and even five at the back with two midfielders if we wanted. But there's so many different ways that Pogba and Bruno Fernandes can play together, and I think they can form the best midfield, because if you've got the two of them for creativity and someone with an engine like Fred, or even like a Tomlin with his defensive output in behind. It works really well because of our pacey attackers. When you've got players like Martial, Rashford and James that need feeding, having players that can pick up a long ball and pass it into them in behind where they're most deadly is so crucial. And I do think on our day we have the best midfield in the league. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you Manchester United have the best midfield in the Premier League and if you have not already please smash that like button subscribe down below if you're new to Alice Talks Football and you have not already share this video with your friends comment your thoughts and let me know are you excited to see Pogba and Bruno Fernandes play together when Premier League football returns in about two to three weeks now I'm so desperate for Premier League football to return it is crazy I don't know about you but if you're desperate for Premier League football to return and you have not hit that like button go on smash it thank you for watching if you have any video suggestions let me know and I'll see you next time